Hi, it's almost eclipse season, so let's get right into it. With this weekend coming up, this is going to be a partial solar eclipse, really only visible from the bottom part of South America. And yet, your body and your metaphysical side can feel some of the effects of all these energies in flux. There is a new moon. It is the second new moon of this one month that we're in right now. That hasn't happened since August of 2020. Now, if you look at August 2020, the energies were whack all over the place. Lots of static leading up to the Lionsgate, like all kinds of energies, like woo, 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 getting all wonky with you. Well, guess what? That was the start of your deliveries for now. So this energy can leave you feeling a bit scattery and really wondering what is your positive direction. During the new moon, this is actually a time to always, every, every time there's a new moon, first of all, it's a very deep feminine energy. It's like that womb energy where you go in and create things. You could you know, go into isolation, be a little bit of a hermit, come out with a fabulous thing you've created. This one actually has an element of action, and that means doing things. It can mean setting boundaries, getting things done that have been nagging at you for a while. And finally, it feels like it gives way, like the door opens and you can proceed now. We're not playing red light, green light this weekend. This energy is putting a fire under you, under other people. This is the fire in those dark black embers of this black moon. That's what they're calling it, the black moon. The black moon only happens once in a while. It's a rare phenomenon, but it really goes by our calendar. Can you see the moon? Usually not. When it is a new moon, you really can't see it. You can see sort of a silhouette. Does that mean it won't affect you? Oh, it's going to affect you. It's going to affect a lot of people. I strongly suggest that you let me help you with this. This weekend, we're doing a two-day women's group moon event on the 30th and the 1st. The 1st is May Day. This is traditionally a day of celebration. And, you know, it's like the beginning of like you started and weeded your garden this is energy this weekend for weed your garden, not literally, but in your life. What do you need to weed? What do you need to seed? The seeds actually should have started from maybe a month ago. Those are like seeds of inspiration and they're seeds of laying the groundwork for what you're going to do next. And yeah, don't be abstract about it. That is the number one thing I'm going to say in this energy. Do not watch a video and think like, this is some general wave waving through that's going to, this is personal. This means be proactive. This means you take personal action. If you do not know what that is, show up for your group. I open the floor for question and answers and I welcome them. I'm a people person. We spend a couple hours each day going through some stuff of what you need to know and rising up so that you get carried on the next part of your ascension. What you do now is important for the next season. It's always like that. You know, what you're doing right now, there are times of laying out foundations and then there's reaping the benefits and then there's laying some more and then reaping the benefits while you go back, conclude some timelines. So please get with the program. Stop the chasing and running. Get started on being proactive. Hope to see you there. Check the links below. Thank you. Bye.